we believed in each other. I don't want to just make it sound like a one-way street because uh, when I moved to Florida from Ohio, it, my resources were limited. And I started from back at the bottom. You know, I worked with Sony Music Group and Maurice Star Entertainment and, um, and Silver Star. And when I moved to Florida, those opportunities were no longer. And so I was starting all over from the scratch and I was just scraping these streets to see anybody who would give me an opportunity to be heard. And I had one heck of a resume to start. And uh, when I was a youngster in my early 20s, and by scraping these streets and going around to all these after hours and these clubs and risking my life to put this music in these streets, uh, that's how I bumped into to Big Rome. And he was doing, uh, shaking down the door to all these dope boys and these, these real life gangsters at the door. And that's when I pulled him aside. And so as we started to travel, his mother said, I want to know who this guy is that you're traveling around with because I've never heard of anybody just giving somebody an opportunity like that. Right. We, we weren't selling drugs. We weren't doing anything illegal. We were traveling the world pushing music. And I'll never forget it because uh, his mother was a spitting image of him. And, and I remember pulling up to the apartment complex and coming in, in the apartment and looking her in her eyes. And she said, my biggest concern is that my baby is safe. And I said, ma'am, you ain't got to ever worry about your baby being safe as long as he's with me. You know, I, I was born to be a leader and born to be a mentor and um, and steer the way to a lot of places that most grown men will shy away from. And uh, I've been blessed to have the people behind me to not only be a major assistance, but also uh, being a blessing to me in return. Because there's days that, that Rome definitely can attest to that I didn't want to do what we had to do because my body was just fatigued. Uh, we've been working so hard on the road, and, you know, five shows a day sometimes during certain holidays, uh, Memorial Day weekends, you know, all these type of events are super busy for artists. Wake up five in the morning, you're doing radio interviews, you're doing midday school, meet and greets, you're signing autographs, you're going to another midday radio interview. You got two, three shows at night. You got to go through the after hours and you wake up the next day with about two to three hours of sleep and do it all over again. So sometimes your body breaks down after three, four, five days of that consecutive one. And I would get up against all odds and we would do what we had to do with our group of people. But one thing that really sticks out to me over all the years is that moment that we met at Fat Daddy's and looking around at a lot of the players who were somebody at that time who are no longer with us. And we've been through some treacherous times in the world. We've had guns pulled on us. We've, we've, we've had to fight for our space and really stand up for what we believed in, uh, not looking for trouble, but trouble was looking for us because it was so jealous and hating over how fast we were coming up. R.I.P. J. Green. Oh, man. My brother Jay, God oh, bless him. OHB, yeah. one of the greatest groups to come out of Central Florida ever. Had a big hit single called Paralyzed, signed Atlantic Records. Out of Haines City. Haines City, Florida. Same same city that 7th Street is from. Correct. And uh, just so much greatness. You know, DJ Blue, R.I.P. So many great people that was with us back then in that moment. And after traveling the world, and going through these up down moments and having to go through different legal fights and battles uh, take us to some of those moments if you don't mind sharing with us about those struggles and those hiccups of, of, of certain times where you couldn't be with us on the road uh, and we were literally like praying for bro why he was locked up about every show when he was on the road everybody was asking when's he getting out when's he getting out and i'm trying to keep the business private and so i'm not releasing any information he he, he knows that we're you know we run a real tight ship yeah. and so i try to keep everything as hush hush as possible Thank you for tuning in to this brief clip of In The Den podcast. For the full episode, please click the link in the description. As always, peace, love, and blessings. Salute.